Ireland. I arrived um, late afternoon-ish, um, got to go to Sarah's place first and uh, we went out for dinner, I got to see my dad, it was really nice. I haven't seen them in a while, so seeing both of them was really cool. Only missing my mom, um, but there you go. I tried calling her twice and she hasn't answered yet. Today um, is the event um, and I tried the dress I wanted to wear again. I'm not 100% sure of the dress, I love it, but um, it's a bit different from what I usually wear and um, I hope it's a good taste, let's say. I think it is. Um, Sarah seems to like it, so I think that's already a good point if she likes it. And uh, yeah, so I'm really, really excited. We got to go into town a bit, we got lunch, and uh, now we're just back. We're just taking it easy before tonight. I think we have to go around six o'clock or 6.30, something like that. So now I'm doing a bit of editing for the vlogs. Um, I think I'm almost done with one. Again, they're a bit long. Trying to shorten them if I can. Or again, I might do that in two parts. Um, I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, so, yes. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, I'm definitely filming tonight's event, obviously. And I can't wait. All right. Um, what time is it now? It's three, so I still have a bit of time. And yeah, I don't think I'm going to do any uni work while I'm here. I'm only here till Monday, so I might as well take a break from uni and do some work next week, which I'll have loads of time to do. Cool, all right. Um, I think next time you're gonna see me, it will be end my dress. and I'm really excited and my sister looks gorgeous. Can I show you? Look how gorgeous she is. Look at the heels, look at the heels. So yeah, I'm really excited and um, it's this. Um, I don't know what else to say, um, but yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna go back because just it was just a quick bathroom break and now we're gonna go back and have dinner. I already have wine and I already had some fun trip, so I'm really, really happy. Yeah, anything else to add? Nothing. Perfect. Do you like it? So the first one is our special recognition to highlight someone who outside their profession has pushed the conversation and changed the rules or contributed valuably to Irish discourse and society this year. So please welcome Sarah Murphy, CEO of iQuest and Mrs. Post Life to the stage to present the award. This award team was left with serious post traumatic stress disorder. She was unable to be touched by anyone, including her parents. She was unable to be alone. She was unable to speak. And then she had to survive the court system in order to bring her offender to justice, where she found herself to be treated at best as a witness, not a victim. And it was that re-traumatizing experience that led her to go public and to push for structural change so that other women did not have to be brutalized twice too. A trained solicitor, she sacrificed her anonymity and outlined seven recommendations for specific legal reform, including proper training for barristers to Justin Helen McAtee. She has actively advocated for women for open and understanding conversations as well around sexual violence in Ireland. She is brave and has had made a remarkable difference. So ladies and gentlemen, our Woman of the Year special recognition winner, Sarah Grace. <laughs> Just, you know, following the steps of the 
absolute powerhouses of women that have walked this stage tonight. I'm just so humbled to be among you all. And I just have to also say a huge thank you to my family who carried me and who traveled from overseas to be with me tonight. I'm nothing without you. <laughs> Downstairs. Um, last night was fun. I have a bit of a headache. Um, I think we're gonna go have brunch soon. And also today is the Guinness Factory visit. Ah, and then I'm leaving tomorrow, and I am sleeping for a whole week. And for my work, well, I guess I'll have to find a way to do my work while sleeping. No, I really enjoyed last night. It was cool and it was just amazing to see Sarah um, on stage uh, winning the award and uh, I even cried <laughs> but you know I am very proud of her and I'll show you the award as well because it's amazing. as much as I wanted to, um, but I I didn't really want to blog that much anyway. I wanted to spend a time with Sarah and my family, um, and also I wasn't feeling the best in shape yesterday. Um, it was alright, but you know, um, I'm still feeling a bit nauseous. Um, it's a bit better now. Um, but yeah, it's my last day. I'm taking the plane back to Brighton. Later today, my plane's at 5, should arrive in Gatwick at around 7, something like that. And um, I think I'm just gonna order food and then take it easy, take it easy. Do a bit of work maybe tomorrow, but maybe have a lion. Um, I think we all need a lion, I think especially Sarah needs a lion. Um, she's such a busy girl, like, she, I don't know where she gets the energy, like, she's always... I wish she'd get, she left me some. So yeah, I'm just working on my vlogs. It's the Halloween one, so as you can see, I am quite late with them. But hopefully I'll be able to post them either today or tomorrow by the latest. So not too, too bad. Um, 
and then yeah I think I'm slowly catching up so I'm not too unhappy about that Right, well, that was just to keep you a bit updated on my work, and um, as for uni work, oops, um, I'll do some tomorrow. I figured, you know what, we have this research week, you might as well take a bit of time off, enjoy it, and then get back a bit of work, because it's important to take breaks, people. It's important to take breaks, especially mental breaks. Alright, I'll see you in another part of the vlog, I don't know what it is going to be yet, so bye! I don't know if I should hit the camera or not, or just be like, bye, and then slide. Up to you, Alice.